The past is the past. That's what Waterbury officials are saying about former Governor John Rowland's job offer at the Chamber of Commerce. The Brass City's mayor says Rowland paid his debt and his skills will now pay dividends by creating jobs and business opportunities for Waterbury's future. Fox East 1's Jim Altman takes a look at what the job entails. I weighed the positives, I weighed the negatives. In my mind, the positives greatly outweigh the negatives. Despite his impeachment and a 10-month term in federal prison for corruption, former governor and Waterbury native John Rowland is about to become the city's economic development coordinator. Mayor Michael Jarjura couldn't be happier. Some of my advisors would say, Mayor, do you understand, you know, you're going to take a lot of heat for this? I said, I'm not interested in politics today. I just got reelected. I'm interested in governing today, and I'm interested in what's best for my city. Jarjura says despite a tarnished past, Roland's vast contacts will help add shine to the Brass City's future. He was our governor for almost nine years, ten years. And so here's a gentleman who has tremendous contacts, uh, both within the region and within the nation. And I said, you know, he has natural charisma. There's no question about it. If the Chamber of Commerce approves Mayor Jarjura's appointment, it's a job that would pay the former governor anywhere from $90,000 to $120,000 a year. It's a chamber job, so it's not public money. They say this deal is as good as done. And on the street, both optimism and opposition. This is what Waterbury is about, by, by them rehiring him back. So, so one... It's, Waterbury is no good. He has a lot of contacts and you know, it's about the city. This is not about him. If he, if he can help the city of Waterbury, then I'm for it. Nobody has anything to worry about in terms of ethics and propriety in government operations as long as I'm there. And I have to use all of my uh, uh, weapons, if you will, in my arsenal to bring this city back. In Waterbury, Jim Altman, Fox 61, News at 10. Stephen Sasala, the CEO of Waterbury's Chamber of Commerce, calls landing former Governor Rowland a home run. The chamber will vote on Rowland Friday night, but as Jim reported, he is expected to be hired.